and go and run out of views. Going to do something different today. Going to develop some black and white film, and we're going to use this, which is the Cinefilm Cine Still Film DF96 Monobath. Now, I've never used this before. It's a single step solution, so it develops and fixes all in one go. So we're going to use that for a start. But what I thought I would do first is show you how I load film into my reels and all the steps in between. So I'll just put this down for a moment. So we've got some Ilford author that I'm going to develop and some foamer pan. This is 200. So what I'll do is uh, first off show how I get these leaders out of here. So what we're going to use is an Ilford leader remover. And what we do is put these into here like so. We slide that one then we turn this till we hear or feel a click. Now this doesn't always work first time but hopefully there we go we've got the leader on that one. So we'll do that again. Let me put this into here. Slide it in. Oh, what a click. Slide that one. Ah, right, we've got it straight away on both. So that's the leader done. We don't need that. So what we do need is to put film onto a spool. Now I'm going to be using a dark bag for doing that. So let's uh, show you how I do that. What you need to do, and what I'm going to use here is a old film, so it's not going to waste it. We need to chop the lead up so on this one here. Chop that straight across, and then we take that corner off. And we'll do the same on this one. one here as well because I've got three films. That's those three films ready to go. What we need to do when I'm in the bag, so what I do before I get in the bag, pull out the leader and just lock it into there. Then I'll take it into the bag like that. So it's all set to go. And then when I'm in the bag, I'll hold that, pull this out, and we'll reel it in. Pull it out, reel it in, pull it out until we get to the end, like so. Then feeling in the dark, I'll put this pair of scissors across, chop that off, and then just keep reeling that around until I feel it go past the ball bearings. And then that's on there. We'll load it into the tank, put the lid on, and we'll be able to take it out. Simple as that. Right, so uh, what we'll do is we'll get everything ready for the uh, doing that in there. 
and we'll do one tank at a time. So what we'll do is put these inside my bag. Over there. Tank next. Don't need to put that in. And we'll do this one first. And one thing you must be aware of, these reels must be completely dry. Not even a drop of water or liquid on them, otherwise the actual film will get stuck. So let's uh, put this in there. Scissors. Like so. So that's all in there. Hands inside this. There we go. And just make sure we've got the lid there. Got that there. And then we've got a reel here. There we go. Pull that off. Start reeling. That should be right at the end. Look for the scissors. I'm up against. And cut it. And feel it go loose. Tank into the tank, find the lid. There we go. So that tank's done. So that tank's done, reel's empty, we'll do the other two and then we'll start processing. Let's do that. Right, so here we are, we've got the mono bath warming up in a bath of water, we're going for 24 degrees, and yep we've got 24 degrees in there, and what I've got here is a container of water, I'm going to pre-wash the film with to uh, get it somewhere near the temperature. So we'll check the temperature of the water. And there we go, we're just we're on 24 degrees. What I'm going to do is pull that into each of these. And we'll pull this into here to get these up to temperature. And we'll give this uh, about a minute, a couple of minutes just to uh, get to temperature. And we'll use this one first. So now I've got a timer, I've got a four minute timer. And we'll pull that in. We've got to do a 30 second agitation and then 10 seconds every minute. There we'll get the Second. Okay. There we go, that's our first 30 seconds. And we'll do 10 seconds every minute. Just like that, and then we'll keep that going. 
with this mono bath the actual time isn't too relevant it's the temperature as such so in this temperature range 24 to 27 even if we go over the development will finish at four minutes we get ready to pour that into there with some rinse aid so we have that one rinsed we'll check those in a second see what we've got have a look at the film see if we've got any images shall we yes there we go four set of images they look right at all put them in my drying cabinet the shower This one, Joey. Yeah, we've got some images. There we go. Let's squish. And we stuff. Yeah, let's look at the final one. But we've got some images. Yes, burrito. Alright, so we'll let them dry and then we'll have a look at the final result. But so far it looks pretty good. Let's have a look later. So these are the uh, images I got out of Yolo Bath and yeah, I'm quite pleased with them. The uh, contrast and the uh, range on them is, is excellent. Uh, I think for the ease of use and less waste less chemicals to uh, mix i think it's a, an excellent product and uh, yeah very pleased with the result i think it's definitely worth giving it a try uh, so that was my look at the mono bath by cine still if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this hit that subscribe button until next time see you later